Now, members of Flores' family, in addition to dealing with the loss of their loved one, are also doing what everyone else out here is doing today, which is sifting through debris, trying to recover any semblance of the life they once lived before that tornado touched down this weekend. Our Channel 5's Stephanie Rosales spoke with her. It's hard to believe it, but I got a picture of him right here. And I'm not gonna forget. That's him right there in the middle. Gene Flores showed us this photo of his cousin, Robert, with us. The 41-year-old died in Saturday's overnight tornado in Laguna Heights. And I just wish he was here. <clears throat> I wish he was here. The mourning for his cousin comes while Gene sifts through debris. He lost his home and all his belongings. I couldn't be able to get out, and that's when all the roofs started falling off. The walls started falling off. My brother's yelling, tornado, tornado. The memories of what happened still fresh in his mind. Door got shot, and I got pushed inside the, inside the house, the room, my room. I heard kids yelling, screaming. Flores left that morning and returned to see the aftermath up close. In the front, a wall still stands, but just to the side and walking further back, you can truly see the disaster. This used to be my room right here. And the uh, kitchen was over there, and I lost everything. I don't want nothing no more. His roof is no more. Only the floor is left. All his personal belongings are scattered. That's what Robert used to be at. He says this trailer lifted up in the air and landed right on his cousin's home. While Gene lost his home and cousin, his memories for Robert remain. He says Robert was a good guy and an amazing father. It's sad that my cousin left me. You guys were close? Very close. Blood. Blood cousins. The laughs. The laughs we used to enjoy each other. In Laguna Heights, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News.